Hello everyone. Uh, today we will solve uh, paper theory for extended 0625 variant 2 May June 2023. Uh, this is latest paper. So let's solve it. Uh, the question number one, a helicopter. Show a helicopter which is stationary. Stationary means is at rest at a height of 1500 meter above the ground. So this is the helicopter, which is 1500 meter from the ground. The question is that state two conditions necessary for the helicopter remains in equilibrium. So uh, one is about force and another is about moment. So you will get two marks. Next question. Uh, the mass of helicopter is 3200 kg. Calculate the change in gravitational potential energy. Uh, you have to find the gravitational potential energy of the helicopter is rises up to 1500 meters. When a body is at height, it has a, a potential energy. So it is gravitational potential energy, uh, which is equal to m mass time gravitational acceleration times h. Uh, so M have uh, 3200 kg, uh, G is 9.81, while height is 1500 given. So after calculating it, you will get 4.7 cross 10 power 7 joules in two significant figures. So answer is 4.7 cross 10 power 7 joule. Don't forget to write the unit, which is B part. Figure 1.1, 1 1.2 1 show a vertical speed of graph parachute who jump from a stationary hot air balloon. So this is a graph about speed and time and gradient is equal to acceleration. The question is the parachute jump from balloon at t is equal to zero and which is at the ground P. The point indicate, the A point indicate when parachute open. On figure 1.2, label a point on the graph where the acceleration is zero with one, negative with two, and D decreasing with three. So on the diagram, uh, we have to mark three points, one, two, and three, zero, negative, and decreasing respectively. So, from this, uh, we know come to know that this gradient is decreasing gradient because we know that if we have two points A and B join from origin, we will know that this point is below from the this point. So, this is decreasing gradient. So, I'm going to mark three approximately at this point and uh, uh, this line is a straight parallel to time axis at this point acceleration will be zero which is one when the parachutes open uh, the suddenly uh, at a point the parachute open this point this also is straight line uh, it is one and where is two? Two mean negative deceleration. So negative deceleration means at this point, here the object uh, retardation. So this is the two. You will get three marks. Uh, question number, Second part, explain in term of force the changes in the motion which occur from the uh, from when the parachute leave the hot air balloon until point A. Uh, when the parachute is jump at point T is equal to zero, initially the weight of the parachute is, is greater than the air resistance. So there will be acceleration. As the speed of parachute is increased, the air resistance also increase. Acceleration now slow down and it reaches a point where the weight becomes the equal to the resistance. This is called terminal velocity. So we will get 
फोर मार्क्स अ स्टूडेंट कैच इज अ क्रिकेट बॉल द स्पीड ऑफ द बॉल इमीडिएटली बिफोर इट कॉट इज एटीन मीटर पर सेकेंड दस दिस इज द स्पीड एंड द स्टूडेंट द मैस ऑफ द क्रिकेट बॉल इज वन सिक्सटी ग्राम कैलकुलेट द कैनेटिक एनर्जी स्टोर इन द बॉल इमीडिएटली बिफोर इट कॉट वी नो दैट कैनेटिक एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू हाफ मैस टाइम्स स्क्र ऑफ विलोसिटी सो वी हैव मैस इज इक्वल टू वन सिक्सटी ग्राम और ऐसा यूनिट इज जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स के जी एंड स्पीड इज एटीन मीटर पर सेकेंड सो put the values 1 over 2 times 0.16 uh times square of velocity which is 18 square so after calculation we will get 25.92 joules but we have to write it the answer in two significant figures so it's 26 Joules, so you will get three marks. The question number two B part. It takes zero point two seconds to catch the ball and bring to the rest. Calculate the average force exerted on the ball. When you have to calculate average force, uh, we come to mind is Newton's second law, which is F is equal to mass times acceleration. so uh, mass is already know 0.16 then what about acceleration uh, for acceleration we know that acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time uh time is given and final speed is 0 initial speed is 18 and time is 0.12 which is given so you will get minus 150 meter per second square which is the, the unit of acceleration this negative sign shows that this is deceleration or negative acceleration okay put the values multiply by acceleration is minus 150 but you can ignore uh, minus at this point 150 so you will get 24 newton don't forget to write the unit that is 24 newton a student catches the ball she moves her hand backward explain what effect of this reaction on the student hand The answer is that this action create longer time. It also reduce the force of student hand. We know that force is equal to the rate of change of momentum, which is Newton's second law in term of momentum. So, uh, when she move her back, uh, you when she move her hand backward, uh, there are two reasons. Due to this formula, F is equal to delta P means change in momentum per unit time. Figure three point one uh, shows a person uh, move across a ice covered pond to reach the ball on the ice. This is a ball. This is ice, and this person is moving towards the ball. Uh, question is, explain why this way a moving across the ice is safer than walking. Use your uh, understanding of pressure in your answer. the weight of a person is spread over a much greater surface area because according to this formula p is equal to f divided by a force if the force remains same when the area is increased the pressure will decrease so uh, the ice surface is unlikely to break in this case you will get 3 marks Question number three, B part. Uh, 
figure 3.2 show a side view of pond with a layer of ice floating freely on water this is ice this is water and this height uh, from the uh, bottom to ice is 0.545 meters the surface area of the pond is 5 meters square the mass of uh, ice is given the density of water is given the point x 0 0.4 uh, 0 0.45 below the ice calculate the pressure you have to find the pressure uh, so there are two type of pressure uh, you know that there are two layers of one is ice and one is water so this point felt two types of pressure pressure due to ice and pressure due to water so we have to calculate pressure at x which is equal to pressure due to ice and pressure due to water So pressure uh, due to ice, we have to calculate. We know that uh, P is equal to F over A. Pressure due to ice is equal to force divided by area. And force is, which is gravitation force, which is due to uh, weight of the ice. So Mg over A. So we know that M is given, which is 690 kg and g is 9.81 what is the area the area is 5 meters square so the answer is five, uh, one three i guess let me check one three five two point four Pascals plus the pressure due to water is we can calculate the pressure due to water pressure in liquids uh, which is P is equal to F over A there are two formulas to find the uh, pressure or you can uh, write density multiply by gravitational acceleration multiply by height so if you put the values in this uh, case, you will get pressure, which is equal to rho is 1000 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by H. H is 0 0.45. So you will get pressure due to water is 4410 Pascal. So write it here, 4,410 Pascal. So you will get the final result, which is 5,762.4 Pascals. So this is the right answer. Write it into two significant figures. So 58 Pascals. This is the right answer. So question 3 is completed. Remaining solution will be uploaded soon in 2 or 3 days. So stay tuned and subscribe my channel. And comment. Do your comments. Goodbye.